So if we think about the, what the world was like in 1953, um, of course it was still very segregated at, at that point. Yes. I didn't feel the segregation at NASA because everybody there was doing research. You had a mission and you worked on it mm -hmm. and it was important to you to do your job mm. and play bridge at lunch. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> I didn't feel any segregation. I didn't feel the segregation. I knew it was there, but I didn't sure. feel it. It did not affect See, me. See, I, I wonder about that. And, and maybe this is a, a, a factor of having lived in a world that was a certain way, and that's just the way it was. Yeah. But I think it's really hard for people who didn't come up in that era, who weren't consciously aware in that era, to understand what that was like. Well, as you say, you were brought up in it. That's the way it was conducted. Mm -hmm. And you lived with it. So you started work at NASA Langley, and you're, you're doing these uh, just astounding calculations uh, for incredibly important missions that NASA was working on at the time. We started, I started out working on airplanes because when I went there, that's what it was, that's the National right. Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. Uh, when the space program came along, I just happened to be working with guys and when they had briefings on it, I asked permission to go. And they said, well, the girls don't usually go. And I said, well, is there a law? They said, no. I said, well, so then my boss said, let her go. And I began attending the briefings. I was, you were already doing the work, but you didn't know exactly what it was. And gradually I did more and they'd do something that I knew more about the geometry of the program, with the, all about the mapping to the here and there. And this. so it was very, a very easy transition. And you really were very familiar, knew very well, many of these incredibly well-known people connected to NASA, many people whose names we would know. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about John Glenn in particular. I mean, it's just, well, we, it's an we amazing did story. get to meet the astronauts, yeah. and we were, they were as excited as we were, and we just looked at them and, you know, and all. But you know, it's so interesting because we talk about electronic computers, and I think in this generation we, we think of computers as being electronic devices. But back then, they, and, and now we talk about human error, we tend more to trust the electronic answer than we do the human answer. But back then, it sounds like they really trusted the human answer more. They were more suspicious yes. of the electronic answer. Yes, in particular, <coughs> when uh, John Glenn was to be the first astronaut to go up into the atmosphere and come back. And they wanted him to come back in a special place. And that was what I did. I, I computed his trajectory. And uh, from then on, any time they were going to compute trajectories, they were given mostly, all of them to my branch. And I did most of the work on those by hand. But when he got ready to go, he said, call her. <laughs> and if she says the computer's right, I'll take it. That's amazing. That was amazing that he did call and say that the very first time he made it, trip into the atmosphere and he wanted to uh, arrive at, at a given place he wanted me to check it out to be sure that the, the computer was right. Did you ever ha right. have a moment where the enormity of that hits you? I mean here you are making calculations when you said he wants to arrive at a certain place I thought yeah he'd probably just like to arrive anywhere right? I mean that's a piece of it too. The enormity of that must have been quite something. It was an assignment, and it was simple. You, you had to consider the rotation of the Earth, and uh, so equally important when we're going to the moon, you had to know the location of the moon and where it was. It, where it was when you took off, and where it was when you got there. See, the moon is going that way, and you're going, you were going this way because you want to intersect the moon in a certain way. It was intricate but it was possible.